Hello to everyone, my name is Oliver Game 3 being here to do some Let's Play more Sonic Adventure DX because man this game's good. Although it is maybe average at best now, depending on how you think about it, because the physics are wonky and the graphics isn't well up, the presentation's weird, the the, the, the controls are really good, but the action stage is good. And basically I still love this game. I just think it's a little bit dated. It's really dated. This game's like 15 years old. Damn, this game is actually 15 years old. <laughs> I, I think my mind was just blown. I blown my own mind off. Ah, I never thought that was actually possible. I never thought I actually had a brain to begin with. <laughs> anyway, uh, today we're going to be uh, going through both Thales and Knuckles mission mode. Oh my god. So what do we got going here? Uh, oh yeah, you want to go back to Station Square, although you you saw a little bit of mission card in, above Tal's house, that's going to come into play later. And this is probably one of the most dickish b mission stuff ever, you gotta go into the Chao, uh, Chao, Ga Chao Garden, there's this medallion behind the waterfall. How could anybody have known this from the beginning? Like. This is why I find this extremely dickish. Like, why? Why? How would anybody know about this? Like, this is crazy. Like, why would you do this? Uh, anyway, the developers did it. They didn't feel any remorse or and or pain afterwards. Can't really blame them for them. I mean, they did Sonic 6 and then didn't feel even emotions while doing them. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, this mission pretty self-explanatory. Just collect the flags along the way and should be golden. Don't have anything else to say here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, uh, Tails mission usually required to get balloons, as you will see later on. I mean, even Sonic mission, if you remember the last part, there was a lot of balloons in there. There was a lot of balloons. Uh, Stiles mission is, <laughs> since he can fly, the, the developers really went, ah, you know what, fucking balloons everywhere. And, and I can't really blame it for them. It's also the Swag mission, but because of the walking control sometimes in physics, um, sometimes it can feel weird controlling towels, I mean, through these levels, because, again, the wonky fly mechanic and sometimes with the stage gimmicks, it can become a little bit... Weird, per se. Next up, you want to get just uh, in the dark alley of the casino where you find the ice stone, so that you can head into Casino Palace, and from there, at the very beginning of the stage, actually, if you destroy those enemies, get up the hill, you'll find this um, this plank of chow and cheese. Nah, not chow and cheese, but how's she called again? The flying rabbit. I'm just calling a good flying rabbit and chow. From there, if you touch the log zone, you're good with it. Uh, mission 31 asks you that you go back into Casino Palace and on their second air vent, just go to the top of it to get the balloon. Next up, in the Mystic Ruin jungle section, fly over the jungle and get all the balloons. Pretty self explanatory, just get all the balloons. It will take you time. It will take you a lot of time and pain and sweat and hard work, but you will do it because of a wonky physics and collision detection. Oh my god. I don't like it. If you recall back at the beginning of Tales House, Mission 47 get 10 balloons on the field yet again. <sighs> Something tells me Sega brought a bunch of little kids and they were like, yo, won't you, we want you to tell us about them, them balloons, son. Some shit like this, I don't know. I don't care. There's too much balloons in mission mode. Too much balloons. Never thought that, that would, that'd be actually a thing that I said. Now we come to mission 54, slide down hill and blizzard to get all the flags. That is actually the last mission of sales. And it's pretty damn difficult. Basically under the last snowboarding uh, section of it with the, the three ramp Sonic and the fells actually. You need to awkwardly Snow down, uh, snowboard down the mountain and collect all of the flags. And the collision 
the headbox of the flags is so small. And since the snowboarding mechanics don't get any better until Sunken Adventure 3, this skin becomes an extremely finicky mission. But it did it nonetheless. Now we come to Knuckles mission with mission 5. I lost my balloon way up there now! Sounds kind of like a bad pop song. I'm sure there's an artist that ripped me out at some point in time. I don't know. Most people don't like this, so. I don't care. Mission 5, clear. There you go. I didn't rescue your balloon, I popped it. You happy now, you son of a bitch? Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. Who's Chow, good friend with? And what is it underneath it? Now, this mission can be extremely annoying. Now, you see, there's all these um, cardboard. Uh, thing that just appeared uh, obviously you want to head to the flying rabbit and chow and this is times three basically what you have to do is you have to dig up in front of the cardboard to uh, to uh, make the medallion appear and you think they they just said beneath it underneath it so you expect to be really underneath the cardboard plank and it isn't you have to be specifically like a little bit in front of, of the plank to actually get the medallion as you will see uh, pretty pretty soon let's see here going a little bit forward like here this is where you find the medallion not necessarily underneath it and I hate this uh, next up you want to go into s the central spot of the city as I like to call it or the chaos, the chaos fight I don't care we get mission 48 uh, this is a bit out of order, but hey, you know what, whatever. Mission 25 and Mission 26, all of them located in Casino Palace. Uh, so this is why I'm doing this one. Like I said in the previous bonus video, there's no particular order in which I do them. Well, actually there is. It's like 1 to 60 depending on the character, but you know what, whatever. If you go on top of the Casino Palace, you will find the flag very easily across the, the ship. And the other ships looks like two pirate ships and one of them has the flag so it's pretty easy looking second one on the right hand right right under right lion's hell head sorry for that and uh, yeah that's pretty much it just get a flag here um it's a little bit finicky uh, because there's a medallion in the springs you'll get it eventually just take you a lot of time added admonition 48 clear with that said, we now get to the bridge section of it, which is mission 32. Can you get a balloon that is in, that is hidden under the bridge? Um, then again, this is like the medallion found in Casinopolis. This is really finicky, and you might die doing it like I did, because of fucking spinner electric shit. <sighs> With that said, we come to mission 38, a message from an ancient people. Um, now if you take a hard right, right after you enter the Lost World as Knuckles, you will find this room with the arrows, uh, the fire arrows. From there, they'll make like a cross section which you can find a metal. And you will eventually take damage no matter what, so make sure you have cranks before you do this. But with that said, mission clear. Now we come to, I believe, one of his last mission, Relentless Eruption Occurs in Flaming Canyon. Yes, this is actually his last mission. So, uh, basically what you need to do is just, right after you begin Red Mountain, there's gonna be this card with Plank of, again, um, how is she called? I swear to God she's called Cheese. I don't remember her name, that pisses me off. Basically, uh, just follow to this platform, and it's giving me the Circle of Ring. I don't know why I was such a dumbass and didn't even notice it, but basically just right through the middle, Two for one, Master Emerald Peace, and mission 60, uh, 56 clear. With that said, that is all the missions possible for Tails and Knuckles, and I will see you next time for some more mission mode shenanigans, including more characters and more boredom out of me, because goddamn. These videos take everything out of me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway guys, my name is Olgrim3. My name is Olgrim3 and I'll see you all next time.